Yeah, first I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Shem Yao Shai. Double honor to the Apostle Elvis, great master, on that rule well. Salutations to the Archim, teaches words of Syria and truth. Blessings to the elect and the one third of Israelites worldwide, predestined to be saved. Now I'm coming uh, with another, um, the second one. Uh, last week I said that we'll, every week I'm going to do a, um, um, a video uh, on, um, not daily but weekly, you know, uh, a weekly edifying video. And it's going to, um, I did one last week um, on a particular subject and uh, this week is the second one. I'm aiming to do at least one a week uh, on top of the videos that I do. Um, but this one will be, uh, uh, you know, it will be no more than 10 minutes, you know, every week. And um, it's just going to go in the spirit. Um, I saw a video of uh, an Israelite woman who is awake and um, she's, her, the video is beautiful actually because um, I'll show you a little bit here, okay, because the Bible says we'll be hated of all nations for his namesake and, it, and uh, you know, uh, a lot of people, not just Edomites whatever they don't like us you know but that's Bible prophecy do you know what I mean so I saw this video years ago and it was excellent it was an Israelite woman that actually done it um, and talk, talking about um, our situation our captivity you know have you ever wondered um, why black people are hated among all nations of people there you go so is an excellent um, uh, video and it brings out basically a scripture um, that we're gonna dive into all right because the one thing that um, our people especially sadly our women uh, are doing is they want to have the acceptance of um, you know uh, the Edomites who don't like us you know who the Bible says they will perpetually hate us. So why would you want to gain favor or have acceptance of a people that you know don't like you? Doesn't make sense. But as 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 we fell as a people, um, according to Deuteronomy twenty eight, you know, uh, the Lord uh, gave us a choice to obey Him or disobey Him, and we disobeyed Him. And um, everything we're going through now, myself included, is punishment. But our punishment is coming to an end because the Lord said that he'll wake us up in the last days, you know. Um, so now, like the scripture says, it's high time to wake out of sleep. Our salvation is nearer than we believe. All right. And um, time is ticking. So we're going to get into this uh, scripture. It's Second Chronicles 7 verse 14. All right. And this is spiritual because in the last couple of weeks I've done videos on on Yahushua and how humble he was you know um you know when he was being tried by uh, Pontius Pilate the you know the 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 things that were said about him he was humiliated you know all right so honor you know you can't get honor without being having humility first you know and um it's a big part of this truth, you know, and uh, Yahushai uh, went on the cross and um, he took our sins away, meaning, meaning, you know, the Lord turned his back upon us, but um, he turned, he turned his back upon us. And uh, usually in the ancient world, if we sinned, we used to have to, 
you know, do sacrifices and, you know, take, you know, animals to the temple and, you know, uh, to atone for our sins. But now we have Yahweh Shai because once he shed his blood, you know, he is that intermediary between us and the Heavenly Father. All right, so it, everything is getting worse now. All right, um, economics, the behavior of the people, this that. So it's it's time for our people to wake up, you know. But we know that only a small remnant is going to wake up. All right. So this is Second Chronicles chapter seven verse fourteen. If my people, which are called by my name, all right, and that's true because um, Judah in Hebrew is a uh, Yahweh, you know. And, uh, 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 you know what Judah means? It means, uh, uh, heavenly father praise. Okay. So, our, our, uh, uh, we are, um, basically called by the heavenly father's name. Okay. So, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves, all right, and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then will I hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. You know, now the main uh, 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 point here is humble. All right. If my people are called by my name shall humble themselves. Uh, OK, let's look up the word humble. I've done it before, but let's do it again. And the word humble means what? All right. Uh, having or showing a modest or low estate of one's importance, okay, of social, administrative, or political rank, okay, so when you're humble, uh, you're meek, and that's why the Bible says the meek shall inherit the earth, all right, so uh, the Lord is saying if you humble yourselves and, you know, admit your faults and turn back to me and pray, you know, the Lord will be with us, okay, mm -hmm. and it says, look, turn from their wicked ways, okay, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land, okay, mm -hmm. um, another verse here, verse 15, mm -hmm. now mine eyes shall be open and my ears attend unto the prayer that is made in this place so we have, you know we have to humble ourselves and then uh, when we humble ourselves you know uh, uh the lord starts to you know he sees what that we're sincere about you know um, turning away from our sins because the word repent means to turn away from their sins all right sin is a transgression of the law okay <sighs> All right, um, verse 16, for now I have chosen and sanctified this house that my name may be, may be there forever and my eyes and my heart shall be there perpetually, okay? So we want uh, uh, favor from the Heavenly Father, okay? All right, all right, we want that. And if we want favor, we can't be proud all right the lord doesn't like that man okay uh verse 17 and as for thee if thou will walk before me as david thy father walked and do according to all that i have commanded thee and shall observe my statutes and my judgments huh? then will i then will i establish the throne of thy kingdom according according as i have uh covenanted with david thy father saying there shall not there shall not fail thee a man to be a ruler in israel all right so if we humble ourselves all right the lord is is, is going to be with us man all right and he's going to get us through all this tribulation that is coming now in the scriptures there's always 
um, uh, something called precepts, which is a scripture that backs up another scripture. All right. So when we looked at Verse, uh, let's see, verse 14, all right, one second, mm, let's see now, uh, yeah, yeah, when you go back to verse 14, it says, if they shall humble themselves, all right, and pray and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, and will forgive their sins, and heal their land. So, but the main uh, 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 bit that you need to be concerned with is humble, all right? Humble, and as I said, it means having or showing a modest or low estate of one's importance. And Yahushua did that beautifully. He had spiritual powers. All them wicked Israelites that hated him, he could have used it, but he humbled himself, all right? Okay? So, we need a precept a scripture that backs this one up all right that's what precept is all right isaiah 28 verse 10 for precept must be upon precept line upon line all right line upon line here a little and there a little all right so in order for you to make a point you have to find precepts to back up your point okay so um the uh, you know the scriptures talking about being humble all right um there's a there's a precept for that and it's in james all right james chapter 4 verse uh, 6 but he giveth more grace wherefore he saith god resisteth the proud but giveth grace unto the humble all right so, and humble is 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 uh you know um, uh, uh, meekness, you know, and not thinking you're the big top boy in the block, you know, like all these rappers, you know, I'm the king of this, I'm the king of New York, this, that, you know, uh, you know, I got big money, I got big cars, you know, all, all this bullshit, that's not humble, all right, so right now, you, you dumb, you dummies that are into rap music, all right, and you think you're this and that, and you're bigging yourself up, you're in the reject bin at the moment, man. Because the Lord, all right, the Lord uh, uh, likes a humble person, you know, a contrite heart, a contrite spirit. Contrite means to be humble. Okay. All right. So it says that. It says James 4 and 6. But he giveth more grace. All right. All right. More grace, more mercy. All right. Wherefore he saith, God resisteth the proud. But giveth grace unto the humble. And that's what we have to be. We have to be humble. So this scripture is a good precept for Second Chronicles uh, 7 and 14. Alright? So I'm just going to leave it at that. And it's, I'm going to do a, uh, one every week, you know. And meditate on it, you know. Because at the end of the day, things are going to get a lot worse, man. There's going to be times where... You know, with all what's happening, you know, the the war over there in Ukraine and stuff, food is going to be scarce, you know, uh, 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 people are going to betray one another. It's going to be the worst time in, in, in all history. And that's why the period coming up now is called what? Jacob's Trouble. Because the, uh, uh, we are up next and we're going to rule forever. So they want to stop that prophecy. You're not going to stop prophecy, man. All right. The Lord can uh, uh, click his fingers and destroy anyone. So, right? But at the end of the day, this road is a test for us to see whether we believe and have faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, you know, and how we deal with all these tribulations that are here and that are coming. All right? So James 4 and 6 is a good precept for uh, 2 Chronicles 7 and 14. All right? So I give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone that rule well. Salutations to the Archeum, teaching this word in sincerity and in truth. And blessings to the elect and the one-third of Israelites scattered worldwide, predestined to be saved. Shalom.